Okay, today we're hitting the Rogue ST Max. Rumor around town is that this is the fastest Callaway iron ever made. So you might be asking yourself, like, who is this iron for? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. We're gonna hit some balls. You're gonna see this thing fly. Let's get into the video. Things are pretty awesome. Welcome to the world of wonder. Let the games begin. Oh, this thing's awesome. It's actually a lot of fun to hit. This is Mr. Phil Mickelson. Phil, it's nice to meet you. I know a lot about your bag. How much do you know about your own? Not as much as you. Hey, that's a good reason to put an iron in your bag. There's so much that goes into it just in a golf club. Did you see that? Okay, we're here. We're gonna hit some balls. I got my boy Jason Felicitas here. He's gonna run through all the numbers with me. So Jason, Rogue ST Max irons, what are we looking for? So with an iron like this, we're looking for the ultimate blend of ball speed, control, and forgiveness. Okay. So a lot of golfers out there need help getting the ball in the air consistently with enough spin and enough ball speed to hit their number. So these should be pretty easy to hit. For sure. In a, in a nutshell. Okay, so these come stock with a Tensei AV Series Mitsubishi chemical shafts. So the whole thing is built for speed. They're really light. My gamer iron's a TCB. Like I'd say ball speed with a seven iron for me is like 117, 119, up in that range. I'm not a big hitter, usually like sure. 165 carry. Sure. So that's like the, those are the baseline numbers to go off of here. So let's see what this does. So they obviously have, it's a game improvement iron. So they got some offset. Top line's actually pretty dang good looking. And let's see what these do. A little it. pulley. How, how far did that carry? That was right at about 175 for you. Very solid. You know what? For an old man like me, 175. All right. All right, let's see if we can crank one up here. Like that one got up. Like the thing you got to notice when you hit these irons is they, they don't float up that way. They go straight up in the air. Right inside the windows that we kind of look for in an iron, right? Yeah, I mean, it's like with a TCB, it comes out like that and reaches its apex. These things just go. Yeah. How was that one for ball speed? Ball speed was excellent on that. You're sitting in the 125 range with these. Okay, wow. That's, that's, that's big for me. Well, that'd be a good test, because I hit that thin. I want to see where this thing flies. Yeah, it might have been a groove low on that, but your launch angle stayed still around that 18, 19 degree range, which is ideal for a seven iron. And how was the ball speed on that one? Ball speed's still at 122. So even on a low center hit, still getting all the performance you need out of that. Which begs the question, why doesn't somebody like me just hit these and make my life really easy? Because that's a thin shot, once again, a little thin and healy. And that's flying like, that's flying like if I juice my seven iron, my gamer. That's awesome. All right, so I try and step on one, hit it as hard as I can, Jay. Let's do it. Ugh. That was a little skinny. Look at that thing get up in the air, though. That's ridiculous. It's pretty solid for, like you said, a miss, right? Nice solid one right there. Like, can you imagine just hitting? And folks, I'm not like I don't. I'm I'm not swinging well. It's not, like, I'm not John Rom. But these things are flying, like John Rom seven irons, and I'm just a nobody. So anyway, what did we learn here? Who are these for? So, what do you think, Jay? Mid to high handicappers. Sure. Okay. L lower handicappers looking for some ball speed. And some launch. Yeah. That works too. Mm -hmm. um, they're fast. They're forgiving. They're really really easy to hit. Rogue ST Max, pretty amazing. If you want any more information, go to CallawayGolf.com, the World of Wonder website. Obviously, enjoy all the Rogue content that we're doing. We're on fast and furious pace. Really exciting time. It's Johnny Wonder. We're out of here.